Vunair Airlines is one of the largest airline companies in the world. They operate flights to all major tourist destinations and have a large IT environment to support their business. They have implemented CA Spectrum to monitor and manage relationships between their IT assets and associated business services. One of the key responsibilities of the network administrators in Vunair Airlines is to generate reports describing the health of their IT environment. In most cases they can use the standard cabbie reports that provide a robust framework for reports on assets, events, and other areas. In some cases where they need to create customized reports that include key attributes such as device name, device location, outage start and end times, and number of interfaces, they can create Webby reports. Webby exposes the CA spectrum attributes to network administrators. They can then use these attributes to create reports. Let's go ahead and see how Vunair administrators can generate custom reports by using CA Business Intelligence. Navigate to the InfoView application. In the Username field, enter Administrator. Click Login. Click Document List. Now click New. Then click Web Intelligence Document. In CA Spectrum, some critical attributes are defined already. Click Spectrum Ad Hoc MySQL in to view all the attributes available in the tool. Ensure the Do Not Show This Again for apps from the publisher and location above checkbox is selected, and click Run. The new Web Intelligence document opens. The Data tab shows the built in attributes in CA Spectrum. They are Assets, Events, Alarm, Alarm Activity, and Availability or Outage. In the Result Objects field, drag and drop the objects that you would like to see in your report. In the Query Filters field, drag and drop the filters that you would like to use in your report. Now we will see how to create a report. First, expand assets. Then, to include data in the report, select objects in the Data tab and drag them in the Results Objects section. For the purpose of this demonstration, Select the device name asset. Next select the device location asset. Similarly, select the total interfaces and total interfaces in use assets from the data tab and drag in the results object sections. To filter the query, select filters from the data tab and drag in query filters section. For the purpose of this demonstration, select landscapes. Then click run query to generate the data for the reports. Since the report that we are creating has information about the total interfaces in use asset, the prompts window opens, in the please enter a minimum number of days idle to qualify as available field, enter 3. Now select the please select landscapes, prompt. In the landscape name section, select the appropriate landscape. Add the selected landscape. Then click run query. The report is displayed. Click Report Title to change the title. Enter My Devices Report. Now let us see how to add ranking to the attributes. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will rank top 10 devices that has the highest number of interfaces. Click Total Interfaces. Now click the drop down arrow here. Then click Add Ranking. The rank window opens. In the top field, enter 10. Now click OK. The top 10 devices that has the highest number of interfaces are displayed. Now, let us view the graphical representation of the report. Click Edit Report. Then click Templates. Under Charts, Expand Bar. Now click Vertical Grouped. The graphical representation of the report is displayed. Click Save to save the report. The Save Document dialog box opens in the Name field. Enter Devices Report. Click OK. Click Close. Now we will see how to view the saved report in an executable format. First, expand My Favorites. Then select Devices Report. Now click Document. Click Save to My Computer As. Click PDF. Click Save. The report is saved in PDF format now. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit ca.com/education for more information.